Hello there, I am playing more Aquan, and currently I'm at Monster Bud's like tea castle place, and I've just been given a job by Sugar Baby, the cave, or not cave bud, just bud. Um, yeah, no, it's it's great what's happening here. It's a sky bud. That's what I meant to say. But um, everything's happening very fast. But hopefully, I get to more puzzly bits soon. It's it's been a lot of dialogue, but that's fine. I mean, it's great. It's so cute. Avant-garde style painting in Monsoor. Gotta put on my uniform. Change in here from yeah. How cute is this gonna be, huh? How sweet. <laughs> Little bow tie. Love how I just keep my back back on, but I guess that makes sense. Wonder what's in there. Can I visit the other rooms? I'm guessing they're gonna be important later. Oh. Treasure here. 25G, nice. Anything? Oh, stack of books on varying subjects. Book one. Wig Whimsy. Why powdered white wigs are no longer just for 18th century composers? <laughs> the Dignified Bud. Five easy steps that will take you from uncouth dud to gentle bud. <laughs> Book 3. Pink Men Don't Bloom. A guide to being the perfect gentle bud. Oh my god, I love the flavor text in this game. They're always so delightful. A painting of the monsoor watching two people dance inside of a lighthouse. That's interesting. <laughs> That's cute though. Look inside, yeah. Stacks and stacks of powder white weight. Did I look there? I apologize. Um, here. Is this? Oh yes, more treasure. NHB concert poster? Oh, that's the that's the band from before, isn't it? Oh god, I love when games like reference things that have already happened. I think if I use it in so oh yeah, no holds barred. Yep, that's what they were called. I think if I um like, use it right now, it'll automatically go to the hospital, so I'll just go and do that. Because that's what happened with the cat before. Looks like someone was writing lyrics on the inside cover of this book. Read them? That would be Snoopy. No, I'm gonna read them. Screw it. I, I'm a bad person. Tea time. A little Bud's remix. Work me to the bone, all day serving scones. And the boss in the white wig won't leave me alone. I got 18 hour days, and they call it overtime, but they're paying me in tea, now that I call a crime. So I'm hanging up my apron, turning in my shoes, from now until the end, I'll be kicking rhymes to you. And to everyone out there, if you really feel in me, throw your pedals in the air, we be pouring out our tea. <laughs> of course, say, tea time, we don't want no tea time. <laughs> oh, that's a good song, man. That, that's really good, I gotta tell Will Buds that. I shouldn't have broken his privacy like that, but uh, let's be honest, that was adorable! That's the thing about the flavor text here. It, it, it really care. Oh! You look sharp! Thanks! Oh, I love how they changed my um, portrait picture as well. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to be a tea server. To be honest, it's pretty easy. You just go around the party and ask the guest if they want tea. If they do want tea, Try to find out which kind they like, then come back to this room to grab the tea for them. If they like you, I bet they'll tell you stuff that'll help find the food thief. Over here are all the different kinds of tea. Pour some into your cup and bring it to them. Easy, right? But remember, you can only carry one cup of tea at a time. And if you bring a guest the wrong tea, you'll have to come back and try again. Got it? I think so. Why don't you practice on Rupert, bringing him a cup of his favorite tea. The Scylla Berry Special. Oh, and one more thing. See the sink up here? Yep. You accidentally get the wrong tea and you're still here. You can just pour it out in the sink. Got it. Okay, go bring Rupert that Scylla Berry Special tea. Now I'd imagine as Scylla Berries are kind of pink or red or whatever, Imagine it's this one? No, apricot vanilla. Or apricot, if you prefer. <laughs> Bright flavors of seasonal apricot pair nicely with sweet vanilla black tea. Candy cap pu puer. Earthly puer blended with sweet maple candy cap mushrooms. 
Rosa saw my taboo blend of black tea and rose petals, not for the faint of heart. Syllabary special, a rare white tea mixed with fragrant dried syllabaries. That does sound nice. You are now carrying a cup of the syllabary special. Oh, I'm so cute. Here you go, Mim. What now? This had better be important. Here you go. Is this the syllabary special you've brought me? <laughs> Love how he drinks. That animation, that's so cute. Delicious. Yeah, you did it! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tend to some important business. Sugar baby. Fuji. I'm heading to the party rooms. I'll be there if you need me. Good luck, and stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. What's the party room that way? Gotcha. You're all ready. The party room is being held in the room, or the party is being held in the rooms to your left. Now, get out there and serve some tea. Thanks, guys. Can I leave? <laughs> the party is being held in the rooms to your left. Okay, can I go back here? I'm always curious. No, you're blocking my path. Okay. Hey there. Oh, um, hey there. How are you? Me, um, I'm good. Woke up this morning and brushed my skybud petals. Ate a traditional skybud breakfast. Read a book on the skybud history. You know, typical things that a typical skybud would do. <laughs> good. I'm, I'm good. Uh. Uh, is that pink paint? <laughs> have you painted yourself, man? You don't have to do that to fit in. I'm sure they'd love you all the same. You're so cute. Is that pink paint running down your back? Oh, so, so you like asking questions about things. I love things. That's great. Things are great. Questions are totally great. It, it's just... It kind of looks like there's pink paint on your back. Oh, no. That's not... Paint? That's lotion. Pink lotion, you know, for my petals. All sky buds use it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what a jokester. I like that guy. <laughs> Party's being held room to your left. I'll get out there and serve some tea. Gotcha. Oh, here's a big pile of sugar cubes there, man. Huh. Thank you for disposing liquids. Can I eat some of these? Fresh strawberry cake topped with light whipped cream. Delicate three-tiered tray covered with carefully prepared finger sandwiches and pastries. Gotcha. Interesting stuff here, then. What was he working on? Nothing? Alright. I should actually make progress now, huh? Lovely springtime painting capturing the part of the... Yeah, I've seen that one. I trust that the buns are warm this time? Yes, sir. Mr. Rupert. Very warm buns. Good. Because we don't serve cold buns here. <laughs> cold buns. <laughs> Little buns. Oh. Yeah. You there. What are you doing over there? Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Oh, he has his sunglasses on. Wait. What did you do? Get back here now. <laughs> oh. What. The. Crumble. Oh, no! The tea party will be ruined! God, he actually flipped out. I can't think of a better word for it. Hey there. Oh, don't worry about Rupert. He loses his wigs all the time. But it's okay. He's got like 50 of them. I'm guessing these are people I'm supposed to be serving, but I want to look at everything first. I can't actually observe this. That's strange. I want to look at this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a. I imagine it's a decent depiction. Oh god, that's the party's huge. Guess I should talk to everybody here first, then, huh? Hey there. Can I get you any tea today? Oh, I'm quite full at the moment, so no. The tea was absolutely delicious, though. The buns, on the other hand, were a bit on the cold side. Hey there. Who doesn't like a little dirt in their tea every now and then? What? Can I get you any tea today? I have plenty of tea right here, thank you. I do however wish someone would refill a dirt bowl. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of dirt in their tea now and then? Uh, dirt? I thought that was a joke. Hmm, dirt. Okay, interesting. 
Did I fuck you? Can I get you any tea today? My child, mom says I'm too young for tea. But that's okay. I really like cake anyway. Strawberry cake is my favorite. Oh, that's nice. A cake is... the best, so... <laughs> Can I get you any tea today? Oh, tea server. I'm looking to try something bold. Oh dear, not this again. Excuse me? How bold do you need to be, Nettie? I mean, you're already wearing a hat that has flowers on it. What's wrong with flowers? My dear, we are flowers. Your point? Oh, that gives me a fantastic idea. Tea server, could you please bring me a tea that has some sort of flowers in it? Goodness. Yeah, I think I remember that. Maybe I don't. Uh, wasn't it, um... Did the syllabary one have flowers? Uh, it's rose and flowers or something? Rose and syllabaries, I mean. White tea... No. Not that one then. Rose, here we go. Yes. Perfect then. I love their banter. I just love this place so much. Oh, did you bring me something bold? Yes, please enjoy. Oh, this is just perfect. The aroma, the subtle sweetness, it's so taboo. Disgusting. Oh, Minerva, live a little. We have cousins who are roses. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of awful, isn't it? You successfully served tea to a guest. Such good tea, and such delightful, uh, such a delightful tea server you are. You're too generous with praise, Nettie. Don't give him a big head now. Although, this child is worlds better than Maxwell. Little buns. Maxwell? Don't you mean little buns? <laughs> Ugh. Is that what that little hooligan is calling himself nowadays? Little buns? He's a hooligan. End of story. His father was kind enough to get him a job working here, but the child doesn't appreciate it. He runs around playing practical jokes on folks, putting frogs in teapots, and drawing crass things on the walls. If it were up to me, that child would be sent away to a boarding school in the lands of the cave buds. Poor Rupert. It must be terribly tiring having to deal with Maxwell. Er, I mean, little buds. Why doesn't Rupert just fire the little brat already? I heard that Rupert let some work here because he owed his father a favor. Favor or no favor, that child is a hooligan. Interesting then, that didn't really feel like crucial information, but I suppose so, in a way. I already kind of knew all that, like, they kind of hate him, he's, he's kind of a troublemaker, that sort of thing. Chocolate cake adorned with plump red fruits. Fresh strawberry, yeah, 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 okay. Hey there, man. I'm telling you, something fishy is going on around here. Last night, I heard noises coming from the kitchen. We heard crashing noises. As if someone were going through the pots and pans. Interesting. Can I get you any tea today? William Budley III. No, thank you. I'm quite content with these little sandwiches. <laughs> they do look cute, man. I gotta say. Hey there. Can I get you any tea? Oh my god, I've only just noticed Monsoor Bud's, or Monsoor Bud on the left there. What a guy he is. What an absolute mammoth of a beautiful, gorgeous guy. <laughs> I love that, I love that so much. Can I get you any tea today? No, thank you. I'm just analyzing the pieces of art on these walls. Do you think the Monsoor longs to dance the way those two are dancing in the lighthouse? I, I guess, man. I don't know. Probably. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he has abs here. It appears to be a statue of the Monsoor. Can I leave? Well, I guess this isn't leaving. Where is this going? I probably shouldn't leave right now. I just got my first job. Yeah, that's fair. Where did this lead, though? Well, I'm confused. Is this... Oh yeah, this is back to the, uh, 
kitchen or the whatever area. You guys have moved as well. Party's being held. Yeah, okay. You, just repeat yourself, man. Why don't you? Locked? Alright, I should probably just go back to serving tea, huh? That's what I know best. I just thought I'd go exploring, but whatever. I'm just so nervous to meet Monsoor Bud. So. It's hard for me to work up the courage. I, I, Rupert's blocking me. His name is Rupert, right? Yeah. I trust that you're enjoying the Monsoor special tea party. Wow, is, is that the Monsoor? Oh, my god, that's the cutest guy ever. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He's really big. Can I help you? Uh, um... Can I meet the Monsoor? Ugh, I'm afraid not. As you may know, a thief has been stealing food from Monsoor's tea parties. This is a matter of grave importance. After all, if this thief was able to steal a prize jewel of the party, the pecan pull apart syllabary crumble. Oui, crumble? Uh, <laughs> sir? Everything is running smoothly. No need to fret. This is a disaster! As I was saying, if the thief was able to steal something so important, who knows what they're capable of? I bet it's a little buzz, isn't it? That's why the clue previously was actually told to me. So I'm very sorry, but I cannot allow anyone to see the Mansoor until this criminal is found. It's just too dangerous. Oh god, I want to meet him so bad, though. Look at me, I'm wearing little slippers, no? That's cute. Hey there. Can I get you any tea today? Desmond. Oh no, no. I'm only interested in the desserts. Actually, uh... You okay? I had three donuts. Well, that's a lot of donuts. And half an apple pie. Like, half a whole apple pie? A cheese plate, a box of chocolates, three more donuts, and a hamburger. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have hamburgers here? <laughs> Gotta help me, man. Desmond is not okay. I'll try my best. Is there something I can get for you? Uh... Well, I think I'm in pain because I ate too much fatty food. Do you have a tea that would help cut the fat a bit? You know, balance the heaviness out? Hmm, I got it. Mom said that poor tea helps balance- Oh, I forgot- I pressed A, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I just pressed A there. It's like my brain was like, there we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Would help balance the heaviness of something I think it said. Yeah, poor tea, that's what I need. Bring me some of that. Please. Ugh. I didn't know my petals could stretch like this. Yeah, no, I was about to say, I remembered her saying that as well, too, and then this kid just brought it up like I wasn't supposed to actually pay attention at all. This one, right? No, no, it's not this one, it's this one. This one, yes. Here we go. Did you bring me some poor tea? I need- I don't know how to say that, by the way, man. I need it. Here you go, man. Please enjoy. Oh, sweet relief. Desmond's gonna be okay. <laughs> he successfully served tea to a guest. Wow. Now I know how Mansoor Bud must feel. What do you mean? Well, rumor has it that back in the day, when Mansoor wasn't yet such an impressive size, he was dating one of the regulars here. A bud named Minerva. Minerva? She's cranky, wears a hat with a black bow. I think she's only in the other room right now. Anyways, the Monsoor ate so much and grew so big and so tall that he could no longer see or hear her. And that was just the end of that relationship. Interesting, then wasn't she the one I served tea to before? Or her friend or whatever? I'll have to check that out, but I think I'll do that next part, so I think that'll be it.